Hi everyone, I'm Simin. I'm here today thanks to Mr. Jing's invitation to share a few of my tips of studying for our exams. Firstly, I listed out all the 11 subjects I took according to the grades I got in my previous exam, which was my school's trial examination on a piece of paper. So basically this was the first thing I did after my trial exam results were out but of course it would be better if you could do it even earlier. Why I did this during my preparation for SVM was that I wanted to pinpoint the subjects that I excelled at and the subjects that needed more of my attention. As a result, I would have a clearer picture of my strengths and weaknesses and I would then know where should I put my time and effort into. It might not sound very impressive but I think it's kind of the key to getting more A plus or A's in SVM. So this is my very first tip on how to study more efficiently for your next exam. Pinpoint your strengths and weaknesses in order to help you in making an effective and tailor-made study plan for yourself. That leads to my second tip which is how to make a revision timetable that is effective and that we will actually follow. Because let's be honest, for most of us, the standard revision timetables are pretty unrealistic and we don't actually follow them every time. So instead of planning the study task for every single day, what I did was to list out all the topics or chapters of every subject that requires revision on a piece of A4 size paper. And after I'd done my revision on a particular topic, I would cross out the topic on the paper. So this gave me a better understanding of my progress during revision. And crossing out the topics made the process of revision less unpleasant because it was very satisfying. So this is a picture of how my revision plan looked like back then. Next, tip number three, be independent. Please do not rely too much on your teachers. Now I'm not saying that we shouldn't listen to our teachers, we definitely should listen to them and I'm really grateful to all of my school and tuition teachers like Mr. Jing. What I meant is that we shouldn't expect our teachers to do our revision for us because only you yourself will understand your own strengths and weaknesses better and which part you should be working on more than your teachers. And especially when the SPM is around the corner, there will be a lot of free SPM courses. Please don't take every single course you have discovered because it's not going to help you much if you take so many courses that you don't have enough time for your own revision. Of course, I don't deny that these courses are very helpful and I'm really grateful to the free SPM courses I had attended before but please bring it through and pick the courses that you truly need on And the same applies to tuition classes. In short, my tips of studying for SPM are to pinpoint your strengths and weaknesses, make a realistic timetable, and do your revision independently. I hope that you'll find this video helpful. All the best in your SPM and see ya!